everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. You found it, the Window Cleaning Podcast. Uh, this is available on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, uh, tune in everywhere you can find podcasts this is available so go find it subscribe listen every week um and it is also available on itunes i'm sorry on youtube uh so go check it out uh the video version it's uh a little bit more unpleasant for the eyes because it's me but (laughs) you can comment and comments are huge we comment and we pick winners and all of that fun stuff uh if you are somebody who watches every single week and you are one of the cool kids who purchases all your supplies through me. What's going on? It is because of you that I get to have name brand bomb pops in the summertime. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And if you want to buy your supplies through me, please don't hesitate to call. Small, big, if it's in your cart, if you just want to ask questions, please do that. My number 862-312-2026. That is my number. Shoot me a text. Call me. Whatever. But write that number down. Save it in your phone. I want to be your rep for everything window cleaning and pressure washing supply-wise. So please, please, please let me do that. Uh, If you are watching this video on YouTube right now, please click the thumbs up. We did it. We finally got one of the videos up over 50 likes. Uh, That's the thumbs up thing. That's awesome. I mean, really, really, really amazing. Um, Makes me feel uh, awesome. So if you're watching right now on YouTube, take a second. Click the thumbs up. I'll give you three seconds. Two, one, thumbs up. Awesome. Hey, I really, really genuinely appreciate it. Make sure you comment down below also. Um, This week's winner from the YouTube comment um, challenge. Every single week we pick a winner. This week's winner is Jimmy Jones. Jimmy, you won. All you need to do is shoot me your info via email, josh at windowcleaningresource dot com uh shoot that over to me and we'll get you out a 50 dollar credit which will be in your store um and the swag bag which is the shirt and pin and stickers and the whole thing it's a whole thing so if you want to win comment down below on youtube and uh it doesn't matter say whatever you want um a couple of shout outs i want to give uh kevin with can k window cleaning because he asks so nicely What's going on, Kevin? Uh, Wesley, the man. Uh, man, he is growing leaps and bounds. Awesome. Always to hear from Wesley. And uh, Ryan Glass. Uh, what's going on? Another one, man. Uh, Ryan, not to spill some uh, info, implemented the uh, residential row program. It's freaking awesome, man. It's awesome, awesome. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for always watching and listening. It really makes me uh, appreciative. So, this week... I want to talk about who do you think you are? Huh? You know who I'm talking to? No, not really. I, I'm not the drama guy. I'm not going to... It's not really a drama episode. Uh, and I apologize. I'm now thinking about that. That's kind of clickbait. Who do you think you are? But that's what it is. Who do you think you are? Um, in business, we have to know who we are, right? Everybody says that. And nobody really kind of takes it. They go, oh, yeah, no, I know. I know who I am. I am the best window cleaner in the city really oh yeah, yeah, yeah i'm the nicest one really you've that's not like measurable right you have to know who you are because a lot of things come from knowing who you are now this is of course the usp unique selling point or unique selling proposition or whatever you want to say there's a lot of different options of knowing who you are and um you need to understand who you are to understand who you're selling to you also need to understand who you are because then price doesn't become an issue. Which we always talk about price, and I want to be—I just want to be upfront. Again, I'm just a guy with a microphone. I don't know anything from anything. Um, I've not been in business the longest. I've not been in business in every market, and uh, uh, some days I don't know my uh, my uh, ass from my head. But. Uh, with that all being said, price is one of those things that everybody wants to charge a fair price. Some people don't even care about a fair price, but they want to charge what they can get. And here's the thing. If you knew with a magic wand that you could charge X amount and people would give it to you. Every customer you talked to, there was a little number above their head when they go, oh, how much is this going to be? And you normally charge, say, 149 for what they're asking. But above their head, it says 199 Well, of course, you'd go to 199 Everybody wants to make the most amount of money that they can 
from somebody. There's Everybody's got their kind of most amount of money they're willing to pay. But we don't have that. And that would be awesome. If, if, if that does exist, let me know. It would be amazing. Best piece of software ever, right? Um, but uh, it doesn't exist. The thing is, though, is that you have to play with that to find out. So anytime we talk price, don't hear my numbers or, you know, I get a lot of people who call and uh, uh, need bidding help. I mean, really, we're a resource for that. So you got my number now. Um, you have my email, Josh, at Window Cleaning Resource. If you got a project, just shoot me pictures and I could tell you. But with that all being said, I want these price to be guidelines because everybody's different. Okay, enough of that. But if you know who you are, and you know what you're about, you know what you're selling. Now, let me just kind of throw out a couple different examples. So, um, if you are McDonald's, and I throw that out and people go, stop using McDonald's, they're a national, worldwide, giant conglomerate. Of Yeah, but listen to the, 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 the setting works. So, McDonald's is known for what? Right, price. They're known for price. The only reason you go to McDonald's is because it's cheap. It's just as fast as other fast foods, or most of them at least. And no one has ever gone to McDonald's and been like, oh man, I am just, I, oh, I just need like a gourmet cheeseburger. I'm going to McDonald's, right? You may like the fries, you know, it may trigger something in your brain from childhood or whatever. Your kids may really like it just because it is what it is. And they have a brand and they stick to that brand. Now, this is probably 20 years ago, they tried to come out with something it was called the mcarch i believe anyway a couple of burgers that they came out with and they wanted to change the feel all right they wanted to the hey come to mcdonald's because we're cool we're for adults we got these burgers and they bombed they bombed you're trying to reinvent yourself you're trying to reinvent your wheel that's not a thing you can't do that mcdonald's is known you can go to mcdonald's and for five bucks you can get a burger and fries and a drink and it all smells the same, right? But that's their thing. That's what they do. No one ever goes there because of what they have. And in McDonald's, they have the dollar menu. And I haven't been there in forever, so I'm pretty sure it may not be even dollar menu anymore, but like commercials like two, one, two, three menu or something, whatever. But it's all focused on price. They explain the price. They talk about the price. They do that, right? That's because that's what they're known for. That's what they sell on is price. Now, you don't want to be that. I had somebody say this one time, and it was a troll in one of the groups, and I wanted to just smack them. Because here's what they said. They said, I charge a lower price because it's about quantity. I can get more of them so I can actually make more money. You're a moron. And this is why. This is You're not Walmart. The reason that Walmarts do what they do, or McDonald's do what they do, is they sell so many of them that they get better margins on the stuff so then they can sell more of them. But to sell something doesn't necessarily constitute an hourly. Now, if you're charging 50 bucks an hour, awesome. If you're charging 75 bucks an hour, awesome. But if you're charging 30, 25, 20 bucks an hour, you're doing it wrong. It doesn't mean you're going to get more. You, you may have more closes, but guess what? No matter how much you work, 24 hours a day, you're still only making 20 bucks an hour. That doesn't mean you're making more money. That means you're making less money. Less money means you're working harder for less money. It doesn't make sense. This is not what we're in business for. So when you know what you're doing, you know what you're charging, you know what you are, and you're not based on price, you can be based on other things where price doesn't become a factor. And you could charge 50, 75. I mean, we all have the stories of making $298 an hour, right? That's happened. Doesn't mean it's happening all the time. But when you can sell yourself on what it is that you are, then you're not selling yourself on price. And I've brought this up a million times and I always tell people this. And here's my little cliche thing. But if I was going to sell you something, right? And I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I'm going to sell you something. You got to pay one of these things. It's either a dollar, a hundred dollars, or a thousand dollars. What would you pay? Well, you don't know what it is. So, of course, your brain instantly goes to a dollar. That's the lowest price. It's just a dollar. I'll pay that. What is it? It's a brand new Ferrari. Oh, gosh, I'll, I'll, I'll buy two at a thousand. You know, like, if you know what something is, then you're not focused on the price. 
Now, of course, you can't go out there and, and, and no matter how awesome you are of a company and what you know what you are, you can't sell based on, on you know, $1,000 an hour. But here's the thing. If you know that you're a Ferrari, you can sell all the luxuries of having a Ferrari. The experience, the, the product, the feeling, the, the sound, the everything, right? And a Ferrari can sell everything that a Ferrari is and never once talk about the price. And that's why you need to know what you do or what you are or who you are or all of that. Because if you are a Ferrari and you know it, then you can exploit that and you can tell people that. And now you're explaining why you are the best option, not why they should choose you for X amount of dollars. So knowing who you are is very, very valuable. And the other side of knowing who you are is knowing what you're not. Now here's the thing. If you're a window cleaning company, which most of you probably are, or at least dabble in windows, and you say, I am the best window cleaner in the country. That's an awesome like high five cliche, sexy advertising thing. But listen, here's the truth is that you, if you're talking about windows, I clean, my windows are spotless. I have the best quality window cleaning. You are selling something that is assumed and is a big taboo in business. If you think that your unique selling point is that you have like the cleanest windows or whatever, then you're wrong. I don't know why my shirt's doing this. I'm sorry. Uh, but you're wrong because nobody cares about the cleanest window because a clean window is uniform. That's all across the board. If you are a window cleaner, you are assumed to clean the window. Clean is clean. It's either clean or it's not clean. Even if there's a smudge, that means it's not clean, right? So you can't sell on that. Like McDonald's doesn't come out and go, it'll make a turd, right? Because that's, that's like, in essence, everything you eat, that's what's going on, right? So they don't sell it on that, right? They don't, uh, you won't be hungry for food anymore, right? It's not, <laughs> that's not a thing because it's assumed. If you go to Wendy's or Hardee's or McDonald's or whatever else is in your area, uh, you should be going to Chick-fil-A. That's my plug for Chick-fil-A. If you're watching Chick-fil-A, send me a bunch of stuff. But um, wherever you go, of course, they're going to make you not hungry anymore. So not one of those places has ever sold on it won't make you hungry anymore. What they have said is that it will satisfy you, right? Or it'll it'll uh, fix your, um, your, your craving or your, right? They're finding a feeling and an answer. And selling on that. But they're not telling you it's just going to fill you up. Because that's not selling. Of course it's going to fill you up. That's why you're going there. You can't sell window cleaning by being the best window cleaner. Or having the spot for my windows are spot free. I love it. Yes, you can still have 100% satisfaction guarantee. That works on another basis of kind of the, the psyche. But that's not your USP. Your USP is why somebody chooses you. Now, before it said, I know you're going to clean my window. Right? And I know you're not going to leave any spot you know, drips or water or anything like that. Those are assumptions. Those are, those are there. They're already in my brain. Even if there's like an old lady who goes, you're not going to leave water, are you? And asks, it's just them reaffirming what they already believe. So you can't sell or say what you are, but you can say that who you are or what your company is or what you offer the others don't, that's your selling point. You don't even have to bring up the other stuff. Here's the thing. There's not one person out there I hope that has ever said, I have, uh, I 100% guarantee the fact that I won't break your window, right? No one said that because it's an assumption. You can't sell an assumption. So no one would ever brag about that. But what they do do is, uh, talk about other things. So thinking about what you have or what you offer, that's really, really the biggest one. Now, when you know what you offer McDonald's and price, that's what you, that's what you push. That's what you are. That's what your brand, your whole thing is about that right? At Window Cleaning Resource, our big thing is customer service. You, I gave my cell phone number. I give it out every single week and I have hundreds and hundreds of people who call me every single week and text me every single week and email me every single week. That's what we push. That's what we are. We're a customer service company. To steal a line from Curtis Kempton, one of the greatest people ever, is we are a customer service company that just happens to sell window cleaning supplies. He said that about his company. He said he, that his USP is a customer service company that just happens to do windows. And that's pretty genius. 
They know that their focus is customer service. So even without it being said, they know who they are. They know that every time they interact with the customer, every single time, they're going to give it above and beyond, super nice, super friendly, and amazing. Go back to fast food. Check out Chick-fil-A. You ever been to a Chick-fil-A? If you're in the South, it's your favorite restaurant. I almost guarantee it. If you are in the North, they're slowly coming up there. But Chick-fil-A vets their employees. It's crazy. It's a crazy, crazy place. You can go in there and every single person is absolutely 100% genuinely happy. If they're not, they have an amazing training program to pretend that they are. But you go into these places and that's exactly what it is. It's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. And that's what they offer. When you go in there, you know you're going to get somebody who gives a damn about what they do. It's pretty amazing. Check it out. So if that's your thing, then nobody else around you can have that. So your unique selling point, proposition, whatever, your USP, who you are has to be unique to your area. Now, uh, sure, somebody else can claim it, and then if you're better than it, awesome, but you're not going to tout it because you're not selling, you're just competing at that point, right? So find what makes you, you. Here's another thing. If you buy an Apple product, it comes in a box that feels like it's a million bucks. The box is amazing. Uh, There's another company... um, A belt company, I forgot. Dang it. ANSI belts, ANSI belts. Anyway, amazing product, amazing product. When you get this box, it slides open. There's a velvet ribbon on the one side that you pull and it opens up with the big logo in front. Everything is in its place. It's perfect. That's the experience of having that. It's a belt. It's a, you go to Walmart and you buy a belt for, you know, six bucks hanging there. This belt is a hundred dollars for a starter pack, right? You buy an Apple product. That phone is more expensive than any other phone on the on the planet, but it comes in a box. It's just so perfect. You open it up and it just, it's so connected. You know, it's the experience of getting what it is. It's quality. Like that is their focus is the over the experience of having it. So you have to find what's yours. The other side of that, like I said, is that knowing what you aren't is also a selling point. So If you know that everybody else offers X, you're not going to sell on that because everybody else is. Why compete on the same playing field when you can compete completely separate? Yes, it's always still there. A Ferrari still goes X amount of miles per hour, just like a Lamborghini goes X amount per hour. But that's if it's asked, they can talk about it. But they don't sell on that unless they are the fastest, right? But... The other side of it is there's so much more to who you are that you can sell. So definitely know that. And know really kind of just as much what everybody else offers. Because knowing who you are and who you're not is just as important. Like if you think that for one second your company is, you know, the um, the fastest company out there. Or something the 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 you you can schedule within you know two weeks you can book somebody and somebody else is booking in within 24 hours because they're slow or they're new you're not the fastest you're not what you claim so don't advertise on that there's a lot to be said with experience in general and as an experience where you're actually selling a service window cleaning which is a luxury keep that in mind you're selling the service you're selling the experience what are you selling like I'm selling that you're able to go golfing, right? Because your Saturday is not held up by me, you know, or by you cleaning the windows or gutters or pressure washing, right? You can sell on that, but know what you are. Now, if you are a uh, free time, you know, you increase free time for people or you increase uh, beach time, or you increase any of that kind of thing. That's a feeling. That's a great way to go. You could say that and push that even when other people may have it, they're not touting it. They're not selling on it, but you are. So knowing kind of what you are. Uh, also, if you're listening or uh, watching this on YouTube, comment down below what your USP is, uh, your unique selling point. I want everybody who's watching to comment down below. Not only are you entered into the drawing to win, but I want to see it. Um, I love to see what people what people have as their USP. 
Um, and don't go, you're not in everybody's neighborhood. If I told you mine and mine in my area and you're in my area and you want to sell on it, well, you're just creating a headache for yourself. So don't, don't be scared to tout that, but tell me down below in the comments, uh, what your USP is. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Uh, and if you don't know, <laughs> write that down that you don't know, because now you got to find out. But on the same side of price versus what, right? That dollar, hundred dollar thousand dollar concept when you go into a high-end luxury um car dealer right have you ever been into a lamborghini dealer or ferrari dealer or any of that there's not signs and stickers and you know prices only 199.999 or whatever they don't say that they don't even advertise it doesn't even say it in the essence of it you'll find out but it's not on what it is. It's on what you want. Do you want a Ferrari or do you want a Lamborghini? Which one do you want? Because if you're already in the market for it, you're going to pay one of those, right? It's like window cleaning. Yes, there's tire kickers. Get everything you can do to get the tire kickers out of there. Put your prices on your website. Use Responsibin. I have a link for that. Let me know. I will uh, post that link. But um, it, use those products and get rid of the tire kickers. It'll save you a bunch of time. But when somebody's looking for window cleaning, guess what's in their brain? Freaking window cleaning. They want to get their windows done. All you got to do is just sell them on why they need to choose you over somebody else. They want clean windows. That's all they want. You're going to deliver that, but so is everybody else. So tell them what. Um, there's a lot of things in the same who you are that you don't even advertise. Like, if you're amazing customer service, if you blow it out of the water with customer service, that's awesome. That is awesome. But maybe you don't advertise that, but you make sure that it's part of what it is. People will understand that the experience of hiring somebody or getting somebody or, or uh, talking to somebody on the phone or having that extra follow-up or uh, there's no too much communication. That's another really big one in, in business. Calling a week before the appointment, calling the day before the appointment. Hey, this is Jersey just calling to remind you your appointment's a week from today. We're going to see you. Just make sure your water's on, blah, 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 blah. And we can't wait to see you. And the next day, hey, this is Jersey calling from XYZ. We'll actually be there tomorrow. I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. Um, you know, blah, 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 blah. Having all of that and then when everything's done, calling them and saying, hey, how did everything come out? We just want to know how everything came. Doing that, all that kind of like follow-up is the experience side of it. But you can't advertise on the experience because an experience has to be experienced, right? So that could be what it is, but you can't advertise the best experience in window cleaning. That's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. But you can still know that's who you are and that's your focus. And then everybody else will go ahead and explain how awesome you are. Look at the reviews sometime for, say, window cleaning resource. Um, we try really hard to be the lowest price. We do. And there's some companies out there who are always a little bit lower because they just don't have maybe the staff or the overhead or the whatever that we do. So you try to be price oriented, at least in the ballpark, right? But the big side of this is that almost every single review that we've ever had is always been based on the customer service or the experience they received from us. It's always based on that. But it's not something that we say, like, we want to be your resource, right? I want you to rely on me. I want to be your actual personal rep. That's the truth. I want to be that. But the other side of it is that when somebody else experiences it and they're talking about you, they'll point out different things than even you will. So, you know, you may not talk about the experience itself, but they will. And that's where a lot of our reviews come in. The other thing is when you look at reviews in a certain uh, amount, 100 reviews or whatever, there's a pattern. You see a lot of people are talking about the same things. Like if something's always breaking and it's always the latch on the thing and everybody's talking about this stupid latch that's breaking, it's the latch is a problem. You know it because of all the reviews. But if you see something and it's like, hey, XYZ window cleaning, they treat us so well. I can't believe how many times they asked us if everything was good. I can't believe that the text brought us fresh baked cookies or we got you know, uh, 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 flower reminders or, you know, all those little things. They're going to talk about that, even though for you, it's just part of the experience. But now on your USP, you know who you are. Even if you're not advertising it, you know who you are. You stick to those guns. That's a very, very big and important thing. Everybody's different. You're different than the next guy sitting next to you, the next person listening. But what you sell on 
Everybody may have the same thing, but what you're focused on in your business is what makes you the reason that somebody chooses you over the next person. And again, I'm not telling you how to run your business. Do it how you want. You can't be wrong. It is your business. But if you're selling just on price, man, oh man, you're losing it. You're losing the um, the potential, basically. Uh, another big part of knowing who you are is um, kind of the underlying subliminal. 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 But uh, what that is is that colors mean something. So if you're just a chill, relaxed company who you have a, a great, just relaxed vibe about everything, maybe you're into the blues. If you are happy and sunny and cheery, maybe you're into yellows, more yellows. Red is a buying color, right? This sounds so stupid, but when you figure out who you are, your entire company and every facet of your company actually comes back to who you are. And the most successful and amazing brands that are out there, every little bit of it, from logo colors to types of logos to all of that, comes back to the fact of who they are. That's a successful brand. But here's the thing, this is the problem, is that everybody, almost everybody, uh, goes out there and creates a logo, creates a name, and then starts a company. They just have a logo, like, oh, this is a neat logo, that's a neat name that's clever right the uh clear views of the world and uh the other ones where there's a lot of them but it's a clever name right they just don't know what they are at that point because your business is always morphing so it's very hard but that's where kind of that rebranding to fit helps if you are known for uh the customer experience we'll say back to that and you're doing your calls and you're you're dropping off your custom XYZ window cleaning cookie at the at the job. Like, hey, here's a little something for you. You know, we wanted to bring you something, blah, 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 right? Maybe you give them a, a can of spray foam with your logo on it. Say, hey, I know you're not going to have us back for a couple months. So here's, if there's ever an issue, you got a can of it now, right? The experience of that. Well, maybe in your experience, you have really nice paperwork, right? Maybe you have very nice letterhead to show, you know, the quality of the company itself. Maybe you have, you know, a, a project folder. I had project folders uh, for commercial clients. Everything was stacked and lettered and super glossy. It just shows the type of company you are. I'm not talking about I clean the best window or something else that's assumed. It's all in the USP. And now finding all that out, you're going to tailor every piece of your company, everything from your business cards to your stickers to your decals to your truck graphics you know all of that is going to be focused on who you are so you got to find that out find out who you are and find out who you aren't who you ain't uh and that will uh all kind of translate to so like i said though if you're still listening uh, i got a coupon code coming up very close here for five percent off if you call me uh, to put an order but before that Please do me a favor. If you're on YouTube right now, put down your USP down in the comments section. Like I said, you're entered into uh, to win, which is awesome. But I want to see it. I love uh, seeing and hearing from uh, everybody. And also, click the thumbs up. What are you doing? If this even if it sucked, don't click the thumbs up. I don't want you to be a liar. But if it even if it didn't suck, it wasn't great, but it didn't suck. Just click the thumbs up. It's awesome. I love it. Um, but anyway, so this week's code. Um, is uh, who do you think you are? You tell me that when you're putting in your order. Shoot me a text, write it down. Anything, that's your coupon code. Gets you 5% off of your order. Um, so do that. And my number again is 862-312-2026. Please, like I said, I really truly want to be your rep. I want to be everybody's rep. I want every single customer, every single person that's ever watched or listened to this podcast, I want to be your rep. That would be amazing. I could eat bomb pops every every day. Winter bomb pops even. Yeah. Boom. So uh, call me, 862-312-2026. But anyway, there you go. Uh, go out there, find out who you are, and until next week, be happy.